Hello Taurus, welcome to a you and them love reading. Welcome if you're new, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and continuing to support the channel, watch the videos, I really appreciate it. Today we're gonna look at your energies, your person's energies and what's um, going on between you and where it's all headed. So let's just jump right in. Okay, for Taurus. Let's start with what's going on in your connection. Spirit tell. tell us what's going on with Taurus. What's going on for Taurus in love? This is going to be a reading for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind, okay? Uh, keep in mind, these are general readings, so they will not resonate with every Taurus watching. If it resonates, let me know. But if it does not resonate for you, check out my playlist for Taurus. I'll have that linked up at the top of the cards here on the video. And also you can get to my playlist by going to my um, homepage here on YouTube. Just click on my username and you can get to my playlist tab from there. And I have a playlist specifically for Taurus. Okay, we got the tower reverse. What's going on for Taurus? Knight of Wands, reverse. What's going on for Taurus in love? What's going on in this connection for Taurus? Eight of Cups, reverse. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have Justice. Libra energy. Um, I feel like there has already been a tower. Like the minute I put this card down, I thought that the tower fell. Um, I don't know what that was. It could have been a separation. It could have been uh, a shakeup in your life. Um, something has caused a tower to fall or it's in the midst of falling right now. Um, I think there's someone or something you can't trust because this Knight of Wands reversed. You can't count on them. So this is someone you're dealing with. This could be also your energy. Maybe you're back and forth about something. Maybe your person's back and forth about something. The Knight of Wands reverse is here for a good time, not a long time. So um, they're not really, um, how do I say this? They don't really stick around for long. Um, they're in and out, hot and cold, uh, that kind of energy. This could also uh, be a card about feeling like you are not moving, uh, like maybe you are slowed down by something, de detained, delayed, and then the Eight of Cups are reversed. So this is a card about either returning to something in the past or some place in the past or someone um, being uh, kept from leaving a situation. Uh, maybe they're delayed. Or being held back so let's see let's get some more information tell me more spirit give me some insight into this connection what's going on tell me more about what's going on here this connection you deserve love you are lovable what else for Taurus honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together but this card for me um there's some sort of travel happening here either some movement i think of the six of swords typically with that card so let's see let's clarify and get some more information here Let's start with this tower. Tell me more, Spirit. Help me clarify these energies, please, for Taurus. About this tower reverse
Why does the tower reverse? What happened? Five of Cups. Well, whatever happened, there are regrets. Disappointment. Sadness here. There has been... There's someone possibly crying over spilled milk here. Something happened to make someone feel this way. Tell me more about this tower. What's this about? Nine of Wands. Yes, this was a tower. This took someone... Um, I feel like someone's kind of like feeling defensive, guarded, uh, trying to protect themselves. They've been through hell and back here. They are tired, wounded, but they're not really giving up. You know, they're still kind of alert, watchful. I feel like whatever happened here, um, it could have been difficult financially with the Five of Pentacles. Um, perhaps there's some sort of struggle you're going through or it feels like you're struggling at this time. Like you have to protect yourself. Tell me more about the tower reverse. Very guarded energy with the tower reverse. Uh, the nine of wands for me is a card about like trust issues. It could be, ooh, I got two. There's a tower reversed. Wow, two ducks. And the knight of swords. Um, this could have been very sudden. This tower could have happened quickly. Um, there's probably a lot that's going on right now. Things are moving fast. Uh, this Knight of Swords could also be some sort of truth that has hit you. Like I'm picturing someone being like confronted with the truth, with a, a realization here. Um, now this could be all your energy, Taurus, or uh, your person's energy because this is you, both of your energies here. So it could be mixed. It could be all, all about you, all about them. So take it as it resonates. What is this Knight of Wands reversed about? Yeah, so this is the person that caused someone else to feel left out in the cold, abandoned, like they're struggling. Maybe somebody here wasn't really looking where they were going. Maybe they jumped into something and now they are struggling. Yeah, this is um this has been very disappointing. It's probably affected you or someone else emotionally here. There could be family involved, children possibly as well. Um, because I have like if it looks like um there's two people here and they're both struggling. Two of swords reversed. What's at the bottom of the deck? Seven of Wands, yeah, there's like that fighting back energy here. I feel like someone's fighting back and, um, yeah, there's like challenge, opposition. Someone feels like this is a hopeless situation. They're trying not to lose hope or faith here because they feel stuck. Eight of Swords, and then there's that Ten of Swords after that. Yeah, they feel stuck, and I feel like this is this is all coming to a close. There's there's an end of a cycle happening here. I feel like someone has decided to fight back, to stand up for what they believe in, to face the opposition, to fight for something here. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed? Four of Swords. Okay, tell me more. Page of Swords reverse. The Emperor reverse. Interesting. Aries energy with the Emperor reverse. So what I'm getting here with the Four of Swords is no movement or no communication. Someone's just thinking and unable to act. I think someone is unable to act or get a certain situation out of control here with the Emperor Reverse. You could also be dealing with someone that tends to be deceptive or someone that um, they like to control the situation. But the Emperor Reverse is a card about someone who... It's not in their control. Um, they've lost control over the situation or they feel powerless here. Uh, I have the Six of wa uh, Pentacles and the King of Cups. Interesting. So this could be somebody that wants to make things right, wants to rebalance. 
um, a, situ a situation here. This could be somebody that's trying to give you something or you're trying to give them something with the Six of Pentacles. But this is clarifying the Emperor Reverse. So I feel like this is someone who emotionally they want to restate re restabilize something but um they're not they're not able to make something happen here you have the king of wands reverse right after that and judgment so i feel like this is someone um this could be your energy or your person's energy this emperor reverse i don't think that they could even be upset at the fact that you're trying to leave a situation um or if this is someone wanting to return they're not able to for for whatever reason Let's get some more cards about what's going on here. This is my Stellar Energy deck. This is available now for purchase. It's linked down below in the description box. If you're on mobile, just click on the title right underneath the video and the description box will appear. Spirit, tell me some more information about what's going on here. What are the energies surrounding this connection? Okay, we got Cold Shoulder. Silence, distance, coldness, someone's feeling shut out. That's that five of pentacles energy. Someone's getting the cold shoulder or giving the cold shoulder here. What else? What else can you tell me for Taurus? Standing firm. That's that seven of wands energy. This is someone that is standing firm against any challenge. Defense, resistance, courage. Yeah, someone's standing firm. Someone's fighting back here. And this is a difficult decision. That's that two of swords, reverse. So someone made the difficult decision to fight back here. So let's get some information about how you're feeling or thinking about each other. Tell me more for Taurus. What are they thinking or feeling about this other person? Tell me about Taurus black egg yeah you're speaking your truth here this is speaking from an authentic voice this is someone being very honest with themselves tell me about the person that taurus is dealing with okay we got the camel this is a survivor this is someone who's been through a lot and i have the fire ant at the bottom and is not giving up um now this could be vice versa taurus this you know but I, to avoid confusion this is you and this is your person for me but you can flip it if it resonates more you know what i'm getting i'm getting like whatever truth this was this person's thinking like i i have to survive i don't know why i'm getting that but that's that's the energy that i'm picking up here let's get some more energy cards for you tell me more about these two please tell me more about taurus Tell me more about Taurus. Wedding bells, marriage commitment union. Wedding bells are ringing. You could be married to, to this person or are you know thinking about long-term commitment in the future. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. New beginnings, beginnings, new day journey. You're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start. Interesting. What's this? Far apart. Distance is affecting your connection. Yeah, it's almost like this person wants to start over and I have coming together at the bottom of the deck with far apart. So I feel like this is someone that literally wants to bring things together. You see that? Very interesting. And for some reason, you know, it could be that this person sees you as a survivor. They see you as someone who doesn't give up you know um let's get some more information here tell me more about taurus and the person that they're dealing with please spirit tell me more about taurus please tell me about taurus what's the energy that taurus is bringing to this connection two of coin Weighing your options, making a decision. I, I feel like in your mind, you don't know what to really think or feel about this other person. Very back and forth energy. Page of Cups reversed, but you know, they disappointed you. They probably broke your heart in some way here. 
Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. We will clarify these. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Six of coin. Yeah, they want to rebalance the situation. They want to give you something or perhaps it hasn't been very even here. Maybe, you know, you have the two of coin on your side and they have the six of coin on the other. So maybe on your, in your, um, in your, how do I say it? How you view this person. It's almost like a back and forth. Like, you know, maybe they give, but then they take, they give and take. Uh, they can't decide possibly and then this person is almost like you know the six of coin could go either way either they're giving something to you or taking something from you tell me more about this person tell me if this is resonating down below in the comments I have the ace of swords and then the queen of cups kind of flipped over there as well so i'm just going to take it so it's almost like this person does have emotions here for you but with the Ace of Swords reversed, they might not be telling you the whole truth about something. And this has something to do with like a new beginning here with the Fool. It's that new beginnings card. So I feel like this person wants to start over or they want to kind of go back, back at, to square one or something like that is what I'm picking up here. Because despite whatever happened here between you, whatever this tower is about, whether this is a tower that's happening between you, like in your connection or outside of you. It's almost like this person wants a new beginning here. Tell me about the two of coin. What's this about? Why is the two of coin here? Oh, eight of swords reverse. So this is you trying to decide if you want to break free. Maybe you've been overthinking something. Yeah, this is about breaking free. You want to be free. Look at this. Breaking free of this unhealthy attachment, possibly. There's an unhealthy attachment here. Someone wants to be free, independent, and secure. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Someone with Capricorn in their chart. But this is you trying to decide if you want to be free. I think the answer is yes. Tell me about the Page of Cups reverse. Now, another thing is that maybe if, um, take it as a resonance, because I see a lot of potential stories here. You could be married to someone right now, Taurus, but you want to break free in order to be with this person, or you might be married to this person and want to be free of them. Why is the Page of Cups reverse? A higher font there you are Taurus but I feel like you're you're disappointed in a commitment here three of swords reverse some of you could be dealing with a third party or there could be a third person here but also I'm picking up like you're healing from this yeah look at you it's Queen of Pentacles I feel like this is you stable but I feel like a lot of you are also like in a commitment here. I'm just picking that up. The moon reverse at the bottom. There was something here that something came to light with the moon reverse. There was a realization here. Something that was hidden is now out in the open. And I feel like whatever that is, it's like you're you're protecting yourself now with this four of pentacles. Look at this guy. You know, like guarding your pennies and stuff. And you're thinking about a new beginning on your own. You know, this is... This is the world here. So it's like you're trying to think of a new cycle or preparing for a new cycle. This is also something financial, I feel, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Coin. What about your person over here? The Hangman Reverse. Tell me about the Six of Coin. The Star. Yeah, this person, I feel like they want to heal. I feel like they don't want to sacrifice or give anything up. They could be wanting to heal this connection or they have a wish regarding your connection here. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Interesting. I don't I feel like they're trying to avoid drama or arguments, avoid a fight. Yeah. 
They're trying to avoid a fight, I feel, because... I don't know. I, th I really feel with the Queen of Cups, like, this person has feelings for you. They could be a water sign as well. Um, this could be somebody that intuitively they know exactly what to say or are trying to use their intuition to tell you just enough so that it avoids an argument. Um, this could also be somebody who, I don't know, I'm just picking up uh, somebody who they, um, they're just, they avoid conflict because again, this survival instinct. They try to, uh, they're, you know, they try to avoid drama. Why is the Queen of Cups here? She's here twice, upright. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. The Magician reverse and the King of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like you are not on the same page here with the King of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person, um, I don't know, there's a King of Cups. I think they're not able to manifest. Why is the Magician reverse? Why is the Magician reverse? I don't think this person can give you something solid with the King of Pentacles reverse. Maybe they're not stable right now financially. Yeah, I think this could be having something to do with finances or a long-term commitment here. It could also be that they can't manifest something with you if you're married. And there's a third party situation. They might not be able to manifest something coming together here, which they clearly want. Take it as it resonates. Let's get some more information about how this person feels about you. We have the Secret Moon Oracle here. This is also available down below. Tell me, Spirit, what is this person thinking or feeling about Taurus? I wanted to say Scorpio just now. That was weird. What is this person thinking or feeling about Taurus? Okay, we got I feel guilty. What is this person thinking or feeling about Taurus? You're always on my mind. And I made a mistake. Interesting. So this person feels guilty. That's that five of cups. Maybe they caused this tower through their actions here. So where is this headed? I'm going to pull a couple of cards here. For where this is headed in the near future where is this headed in the near future spirit where is this headed? nine of pentacles yeah freedom stability independence um, this is someone that has a lot going on for themselves this could be somebody being free seven of cups having options choices here Thinking of what to do next, evaluating their options, weighing their options. And the Nine of Wands. This is a whole different deck and we're getting very similar energy. I feel like this is, you don't trust this other person. Um, there is a guard, like a walls are up here. Um, and it could be because of what you've been through or it could with this, it could be because of what you've been through specifically with this person or, or what you've been through outside of this person. But someone's giving the cold shoulder. Someone's standing firm against someone else or just fighting for their own freedom, their own stability, uh, because they deserve love. They deserve better, I feel, is what I'm getting. Let's get some advice for you. I'm gonna um, pick a guidance oracle. This is my stellar guidance deck. Spirit, any advice or messages for Taurus? Any guidance or advice for Taurus, please? Let's see what we get for you, Taurus. Okay, we got forgive. And I want to get one more. Can I get one more for? Okay, we got good news on the way. And luck is on your side. Okay, so luck is on your side here. Now, this forgive, this could be forgiving this person, forgiving yourself. Um, 
This could be somebody that's asking for forgiveness. Maybe this is what you want to hear with good news on the way. Um, but I'm also picking up like there might be something coming your way where uh, it's a new opportunity. This this luck is on your side is similar to the Wheel of Fortune. And then right behind that, I have weeks from now. So expect something really interesting uh, weeks from now, which whether it has to do with this person or not, I think you're going to end up okay because I have... Queen of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles here. And for some reason, I feel like that's your energy, Taurus. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys continuing to support the channel. Uh, don't forget to leave me a comment if this resonated. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.